This morning, I want to talk about a concept which some of us are uncomfortable with, and it's a very Jewish concept. It is known by the word netzach. The Hebrew word netzach means victory. Victory is a recognition of our success. Netzach means that we are accomplishing what we are supposed to accomplish in the world. We're counting the Omer. There is that seven week period in between Passover and Shavuot. In biblical times, it was a happy time. It was a time of joyful anticipation. In rabbinic times under Roman occupation, it was a sad time. It was a time of mourning, recognizing devastation that occurred through persecution and also through illness. But there's also, according to Jewish mysticism, an opportunity to look at each week as representing a different concept in terms of human identity and initiative. And we just got through the week of Netzach, the week of victory. Now, we deal with victory in two opposing ways, both of which are problematic. Sometimes we over-embrace. We say, look at what I did. I got into this college and you didn't. I have a successful business, more successful than yours. I have accomplished things that you have not, and we kind of pull ourselves up, and we do that in a way that is haughty and problematic and zero-sum game. My victory must mean your defeat. The other way that we deal with it is to shy away from it completely. Who am I to claim that I've done anything that is worthwhile? Who am I to claim that I have any qualities that are worthy of recognition, not to mention even celebration? We either overemphasize it or we underemphasize it. And I want us to embrace Netzach, victory, in a healthy way. And I'll tell you what I mean. This past week, I met with a family and I asked them how the year had gone. And they said, of course, it's been a difficult year, but we have to recognize that we managed to succeed pretty well during this difficult year. We managed to preside over the education of our young children and our school-age children. We managed the shalom bayit, the, uh, the peace in the home of all of us living together and spending so much time together. And I was happy to hear this family recognizing what for our purposes I'll call their netzach, their victory. They achieved something that they felt was worthy of acknowledging and even celebrating. I wanna say to us, as we hopefully continue to move out of these difficult circumstances, that we should acknowledge our victories. We should acknowledge the extent to which we succeeded in keeping harmony among family and friends, the extent to which we succeeded in adapting to very difficult circumstances. We should take a moment, if we haven't already, to acknowledge Netzach, to acknowledge our accomplishments in this past year. And that is an important Jewish concept. There is nothing shameful about recognizing what you have accomplished. If anything, it gives you the strength to move forward. Netzach is also about recognizing victory in terms of other people. And I'll start with the Jewish people those of us who are part of the Jewish people should be advocating for the full recognition, inclusion, celebration of people who are Jewish to be able to live in security and in peace. And we know that that's still a problem. It's a problem in this country. It's a problem elsewhere. You are probably following the story of a woman named Sarah Halimi, a French woman, who was murdered. She was murdered because she is a Jew. Her murderer cried out, Allahu Akbar, and threw her out of a window. And when she died, said, I have killed the devil. This story was reported. This story was widespread. Recently, 
her murderer was acquitted because he was deemed to have been delirious during the murder. Now, why was he delirious? Because he had taken mind-altering drugs. So this is a law which many French officials of goodwill realize is a problematic law. Sure, he wasn't in his own mind, so to speak, but he wasn't in his own mind because of the choice that he made. And so why should this man be acquitted? Moreover, according to, to a Jewish philosopher and advocate, Bernard-Henri Lévy, there's a evasiveness about calling this an anti-Semitic murder. Authorities that are not so willing, maybe it's not clear when in fact it is very clear that this was a hate crime and specifically an anti-Semitic hate crime. So if I speak of Netzach, I'm also speaking of the importance of speaking out on behalf of fellow Jewish people wherever they reside and recognizing that we need to advocate for justice to be done, and that is part of Netzach. To the extent that justice will be done, in this instance, a law will be changed, and hopefully this murderer will be brought to justice. That will be an instance of Netzach, of victory. It is not a problematic word or concept. It's an important concept for us to use to motivate ourselves. And the final point that I would like to make is that Netzach is not just about victories that advance ourselves and our family and the extended family of, in our case, the Jewish people. Netzach is also about reaching beyond our people. In his book, Eheye, A Kabbalah for Tomorrow, Rabbi Art Green wrote the following, Netzach, victory, seeks to remake the world, to render everything perfect. It is a great force for goodness, which inspires us to go forth and right the world's wrongs, to reform the social order, to fulfill the dream of perfection. Netzach is the goal, and then it becomes the energy that drives us to try to create circumstances in the world that allow everybody to thrive. I was so heartened to see members of our Temple Israel community involved, participating, and in leadership roles in the anti-Asian hate bias march, a march that was organized to confront bias against Asian Americans. These are our neighbors. These are Americans. When I heard some of these individuals speaking about how much they've done in order to serve America in the military and in other ways, I was heartened to hear it. But at the same time, I said to myself, why should they have to keep proving how American they are? It's, it's up to us to embrace each other. The Jewish people are constantly having to say, look how American we are. We shouldn't have to keep proving it. We should be able to reach out towards each other and embrace each other as American citizens and lift each other up. Now, that entire event gave me hope. It gave me the sense that we are moving toward Netzach, towards the kinds of victory that is that more perfect world where each and every human being is embraced. And God knows that people should be embraced, lifted up, celebrated, regardless of their race or their gender or their sexuality or their economic circumstance or their religion. We need to be doing this with Netzach, the ultimate victory of human equality and self-actualization as our guide. And there is nothing that we should be proud of if we are sitting quietly and afraid to try to achieve this victory. That's not appropriate humility. That is a failure to live up to our obligations as Jews and as human beings. So following this week, when the Kabbalists encourage us to look at Netzach, I want to encourage each of us in our own lives to embrace the moments where we have succeeded regarding ourselves and our loved ones and also the moments where we have succeeded regarding the Jewish people and 
regarding all people. God is referred to as Netzach Yisrael, the one who inspires victory for our people. And I encourage us to tap into that Netzach so that we can achieve success for us, for our people, and for all people. Shabbat Shalom.